What do you think of when you hear the word idolatry? You probably think of some ancient practice of the past where people used to worship statues and trinkets, but you probably don't think of it as a modern day practice that's still happening today. But the reality is we still have idols that we worship. And the reason we don't think of them as idols is because our definition of idolatry is off. So what I want to look at today is what is an idol. And then I want to look at six idols that we still worship today. Before we dive into that, would you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on what's happening on this channel? So what is an idol? An idol is when something or someone becomes more important to us than God is. And even a good thing can become an idol if we make it an ultimate thing. Tim Keller in his book, Counterfeit God, says that an idol is anything that becomes more important to you than God, anything that absorbs your heart more than God, anything that absorbs your imagination more than God. When we have a proper view of what idolatry is, we can see that it's still alive and well today. It might look different than idolatry of the past, but we still worship idols today. In the Bible, in both the Old and New Testament, make it very clear that we should not put anything of more importance before our relationship with God. Idolatry is condemned in both the Old Testament and the New. Before we look at the six idols that we still worship today, let me add some clarity to the purpose of this list. You see, this list isn't ammo to go throw at somebody else. This list isn't a list of things that we should avoid. This is a list of things that we should check our own heart to make sure that these things haven't become more important to us than God is. With that in mind, let's look at the six idols that we still worship today. Number one is our identity. It's easy to place our identity in something or someone other than God, whether it be our work or our social following or what we do or our hobbies. So many people have placed their identity in something that's other than God. And not only is that an idol, that's a really tough way to live. Because when we place our identity in something other than God, that thing becomes our master. It becomes what controls and dictates our life. When our identity is found in God, we can live in the freedom that he's intended for us to live in. But for many, their identity is wrapped up in something else and that's become an idol in their life. The second idol that we still worship today is money. And it doesn't matter if you have money or if you're broke, the pursuit and the desire of money has become an idol for many. Many people in our culture trust their money more than they trust God. They think their money can get them what they want rather than relying on God to give them what they need. Hear me on this. I'm not saying that money is bad. Money is not evil. It's the pursuit, the desire, the love of money that becomes an idol, that becomes an evil in our life, that pulls us away from God. And many in our society, many in our culture, many around the world have this desire for more money that's pulling them away from God. For many, money has become an idol. The third idol that we still worship today is entertainment. Whether it be the latest Netflix show or planning our next vacation or playing that our favorite video game, we love to be entertained. And again, like many of the other idols on this list, entertainment isn't a bad thing. In fact, I would argue it's a good thing, but when a good thing becomes an ultimate thing, ultimately that good thing leads us away from God. And for many, the pursuit of entertainment has become an ultimate thing in their life and it's become an idol. The fourth idol that we worship today is sex. It might be the only idol that we think of that we pursue more than money. We've taken what was intended to be a gift from God and we've turned it into God itself. We've worshiped the gift rather than the giver. And for many in our culture, sex is an idol that they are addicted to. You can see how tightly woven this idol is into our culture because to even question one's sexual ethic brings on a slew of accusations because it is in many ways our God where we worship sex in our culture. Sex has become an idol for many and it's become the ultimate pursuit in their life. The fifth idol that we still worship today is comfort. There's an endless list of products promising you an easier or simpler or more comfortable life if you just buy their item. And our lives have become more easier, more automated than any time in all of history. And listen, I'm not saying that comfort is a bad thing. In fact, there's been so much good that's come from that. But the call of Christians isn't to live a comfortable life, it's to live a life pursuing Jesus. 
And Jesus tells his followers that there's gonna be times in our life where he calls us to do something difficult and we're gonna to have to step outside of our comfort zone. So if comfort is an idol for you, you're gonna to struggle to respond to the call that Jesus has on your life. And for many, for many, comfort is an idol that keeps them from following Jesus. The last idol that we still worship today is our phones. Smartphone addiction, social media addiction is becoming a real problem for many people. They simply just cannot live without their phones. And again, the problem isn't the phones, the problem isn't the technology, the problem isn't social media, the problem is our addiction to it. The problem is that we've placed more value on those things than we have on our relationship with God. And by definition, that's an idol. And for many, their world revolves around their phone. It revolves around how many likes they get, how many followers they have, and they can't go five minutes without checking their phone. And that is not only an addiction, it's an idol. So those are six idols that I still see commonly worshiped today. And let me just reiterate, the purpose of this list is not for you to go beat somebody else up with it over the idols in their life. The purpose of this list is for you to prayerfully evaluate your own heart, to see if one of these things has become an idol, to see if one of these things has become more important to you than God is. So how do you know if something's become an idol? Let me end by giving you four quick questions that will help you evaluate your life. The questions are this, where do I spend my time? Where do I spend my money? Where do I get my joy? And what's always on my mind? Actually think about these questions. These questions will help you evaluate your life and see areas that could potentially become an idol or maybe areas that already are an idol. So use these questions and make sure that God is still the most important thing in your life because we shouldn't let anything, even a good thing, become an idol to us. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something. If you did, would you hit that subscribe button and then also leave a comment and let me know what idols that you see commonly worshiped today.